proper rope measurement for the standard measurement you stand on the center with one foot to pull the handles along the side until the tip of the handles extend to the shoulders at this measurement provided that you have the correct jump rope form and posture you're going to have about anywhere from 10 to 12 inches clearance over the head go ahead and jump with the rope That's about eight inches. It's because she's a real good jumper. <laughs> when you become more proficient, there's a second measurement that comes to the underarm. Go just imagine both handles here. And then a third measurement to the chest. When you become more proficient with the jump rope, you make your rope shorter. A shorter rope is a faster turning rope. A faster turning rope is what? Faster reflexes. Faster reaction. That's what we're looking for. But we got to master the skill. Surfaces. Ideal surface? Well, wooden surface is ideal because it has equal rebound and give. Level dirt. Artificial turf. A rubberized surface. Avoid concrete. Avoid concrete. What else we have? Equipment. You have a high performance jump rope. This is a new design in jump ropes. What it's done? Unlike conventional jump ropes, we have an external swivel bearing that eliminates drag and friction that associate with the conventional jump ropes. So, what does that mean? When you're turning the rope, you don't have to wait on it. You don't have to worry about drag. It responds to your needs. External swivel bearing system. Allows you to do backwards, forward, any direction that train the way you want to move okay let's go with the the biomechanics of the perfect jump turn to the side without the rope first we teach you how to jump the vertical leap notice the body position upright using core to stabilize for stabilizing the upper body landing lightly on the balls of the feet Looking straight ahead, we're going to combine a circular motion with a linear motion. Now we're going to take the rope, put it in one hand, turn it to the side, and coordinate the jump. That's called shadow jumping. Teach you the skill, the movement, the timing, the rhythm. Then we're going to combine the rope swing, this rotary motion with this linear motion, Develop a time and a rhythm to coordinate the rope swing with every jump. Let's do the perfect jump starting position. Rest the rope behind your knees. Look straight ahead and give me the perfect jump. We're going to start off with one jump. We're going to focus on one jump. Once you master the one jump, progress to two jumps. And then three jumps. And once you get it down, we make it continuous. This is how you're going to learn the skill of jumping. We're going to learn the basic bounce, the alternate footstep. We're going to show you how to combine these two techniques to build jump rope endurance. Alternate footstep, the basic bounce. From these two techniques, they make up the foundation to all jump rope training programs. This is how you learn all your other techniques.